So notebooks and journals sell super well on Amazon KDP. More and more people are getting into this game, but you need to have an eye captivating journal cover that will make someone want to buy and use it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can design one easily using Kittle. Now, if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and use the link down below to sign up for free. Then you can follow along with this tutorial. So let's get started. So I wanted to show you, we already have a ton of journal covers and book covers here in Kittle. So I clicked here on the covers tab and we have all of these presets right here where you can scroll through and get started using. For example, I can click journals here in this covers tag and you can see all of the journal covers that have already been created by some amazing designers all around the world and you can easily click into and start using one. Now, here we are in Kindle Direct Publishing and what we're gonna do is go through the process of setting up what we need for the book cover. I'm gonna select paperback. That is generally the journal style, is a paperback journal style. Of course, you could go through this and select hardback. I'm just gonna go black and white for the interior because it's gonna basically be blank. Uh, we're not going to upload a full PDF of tons of paper that has been formatted because this is just a journal. We're gonna read left to right. Our measurements are going to be in inches. And then for the cover size, we're gonna go for six by nine or the entire journal size. We're gonna go six by nine. About 120 pages is pretty common for a journal. So then all we have to do is click calculate dimensions. And so here we are, we have everything up there. We can either copy that or just download a template. So if we go ahead and download this template, it's gonna give us both a PDF and a PNG, which we can upload to Kittle to use as our guide. So here is the entire template right here. And we have a bunch of different uh, bleed points and other things like that. But what we're most interested in here is the overall dimensions that we'll set up in Kittle. So let's hop over to Kittle. And I'm going to go ahead and select inches here in my units. And then I'm going to put in those exact dimensions. Okay, so we have 12.52. And then right here in the height, we are going to go 9.25. And we always want to make sure that we select the DPI and type in 300. So we're giving the highest quality. So let's go ahead and hit create. And what we're gonna do is go to our uploads and go ahead and upload that template. So we're gonna go ahead and upload that PNG right here, upload that, boom, let's go ahead and click that and add that in. And then all we need to do is make sure we size it up. By the way, you can hold the Alt key to scale from the center. The Alt or Option key means it will scale from the very center. And then we're gonna line it up exactly with the right and left bottom corner or whichever corner you want. So now what we need to do is basically create a block or a template on top of this so we have very clear guide points for where to create. So what I'm gonna do is add a basic shape and I'm basically gonna start filling in the outer section of this template. So the outer border up to the black line or the bleed line we know we don't go outside of that bounding box when we are creating our journal cover. So I'm going to make sure that this block is the entirety of the artboard. So bring this all the way down. And then what we're going to do is take off the fill color. We don't need the fill color because we are going to add the border up to the black line. So you see there, I'm trying to cover this black line here that is within this whole red block. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value from this cover tutorial, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. And then let me know down in the comments, have you already been selling notebooks or journals via Amazon KDP? I'd love to know what your current experience has been so far. And I'd also love to know what other kind of tutorials you want to see so we can add them to the queue. So comment down below and let's get back to the tutorial. So then what I'm gonna do is do the same thing and cover the left side or the back side because all we want to do is design for the front cover because this is a journal so I don't really need any other information so I'm going to bring this block all the way into the second dashed line here which is the spine so the spine is held in between those two dashed lines so I need to make sure that whatever I'm creating does not go to the left of that first dashed line I'm going to go ahead and make that the same color as my border so now I know this space right here 
is what I'm designing for. So I'm going to select these basic shapes here and I'm going to label this as the overlay or you could label that as template. I'm going to label the bottom one as a template as well. And then what I'm going to do is turn both of them off. I don't need them to start designing because I'm going to turn them back on to see where I am and make sure that I don't have anything going into the wrong bleed lines or anything like that. So we're going to use the Kittle AI to generate our cover. So what I'm going to do is go for a landscape, just a forest landscape, because this journal is going to be more adventure based. So I'm going to use the psychedelic preset, go ahead and hit generate, and it's going to give me a pretty awesome render of a forest okay and so what i'm going to do is scale this up pretty big now i know people have concerns with how high resolution a generated image can be but there is a trick for this in kittle to make sure you are getting the highest resolution so what i'm going to do to make sure this isn't pixelated or blurry is just vectorize the image so i can just click image vectorizer here and i can put in the amount of colors that i think are in the image or more or less vectorize it and boom now i can just edit all of the colors or i can go here to the color palettes and start scrolling through and now i can actually change the colors in my ai art generated image isn't that amazing so i'm going to scroll through these and pick one that i think is nice i don't want it to be too distracting i just needed to be kind of muted or tame because the text that's on top is going to be the focal point of this journal cover so i like this one a lot i think it's nice and muted orangey it's definitely giving off fall vibes for sure so then what i can do is i can add the overlay back on top i changed it to black so it was easier to see just to make sure i can see where we are contained so i don't go outside or have things starting to print on the wrong side okay the next thing we need to do is start working on our type now i'm going to use this template here by stefano an amazing designer i'm just going to click use this template and then i'm going to select this whole text i'm going to hit command or control c open the other browser or the other window and I'm gonna hit command or control V and because you can copy and paste between uh, windows you can easily pick and choose from different templates to make your own design so what I'm gonna do is work on the color here and then I am going to go and I'm gonna type in my own phrase so it's really easy all you have to do is click in and change your type I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do fueled by fresh air and sunshine then I'm gonna make some adjustments like sizing and I'm gonna work on color a little bit more so that it's easier to read against the background which may take you a little bit of time just to figure out the colors that you want to do and then to make sure that this is ready to go for KDP all you need to do is grab your overlay and your background template and just delete them so you're left with your full image right here and that's what you're going to be uploading to Amazon KDP so once this is ready to go we can go over here to export and then what we're going to do is make sure that all of our dimensions haven't changed make sure that looks good make sure the DPI still says 300 all good then what we can do is go down here and select optimize quality this is just going to allow the browser a little bit more time to export the pdf and smoothen out the pixels then i'm going to go ahead and hit pdf and you are ready to upload this to amazon kdp so here are the finished designs i made one more with this quote which you can see mocked up here with the other journal and i hope you have a ton of fun with this tutorial and let me know what your experience with kdp has been so far down in the comments Thank you.